What is up you guys? It's Susan Morad right back here on Clever News and Demi Lovato revealed that she wrote her late father a letter to release all of the resentments she held towards him in an effort to put her mental health first. Demi just published a powerful new essay in Vogue where she talks about everything from the importance of the Black Lives Matter movement to her relationship with her fiance Max Eric to how she's maintained her mental well-being amid the ongoing pandemic. But one portion of her essay in particular caught fans' attention. In the section titled A Year of Growth, Demi opens up about her relationship with her late father Patrick Lovato and how she actually wrote a gratitude letter to him despite his abusive past. Demi opened the segment of her essay talking about how this year has been full of high highs and low lows. She wrote, quote, Nobody's had a perfect 2020, far from it. What we all need to realize, though, is that it's okay for things not to be okay sometimes. Personally, I've experienced extreme highs and lows. I met my fiancé in March and I fell in love with him. We had this whirlwind romance and have been able to spend this time together. But I've also lost several people this year, which was tough. Demi then went on to talk about the anniversary of her late father's death. As fans may know, Demi had previously revealed that her dad was abusive. He passed away from cancer back in 2013. In her 2017 YouTube docuseries, Demi explained that she was, quote, very conflicted when he passed because he was abusive. He was mean, but he wanted to be a good person and he wanted to have his family. And when my mom married my stepdad, he still had this huge heart where he said, I'm so glad that he's taking care of you and doing the job that I wish I could do. And so in her recent essay for Vogue, Demi explained how she honored her father this year on the anniversary of his passing by releasing her past resentments towards him. She said, quote, There was the anniversary of my father's death, which is a couple of days after Father's Day, a really hard time of year for me. But this year, something happened. I wrote a gratitude letter to him, thanking him for all the things that I got from him. It was this beautiful release of all the resentments I had towards him. I realized for the first time that I wasn't going to have daddy issues for the rest of my life. In short, 2020 has been a year of growth. Demi also detailed how her relationship with her fiance Max has really helped her become more positive even during a challenging year. She said, quote, my fiancé is so positive all the time. I just started picking up on the things he does. I started meditating and doing yoga. I started journaling, painting, taking pictures and being creative and learning to appreciate nature after realizing I'd been taking it for granted all this time. And even outside of meeting her fiancé, Demi revealed that this time in quarantine has actually had a positive impact on her mental health. She said, quote, As a society, we've become used to a particular mentality, one where we feel we must get ahead and be the best all of the time. It's exhausting. Then all of a sudden, a pandemic hits and everyone is forced to stop and think. I started to ask myself questions. What's important to me? What's going to get me through this? How can I remain positive? And having so much downtime during quarantine has given me the space to realize there's so much more I could be doing to help other people. And during this time, Demi explained that she's taken the time to educate herself on the importance of the Black Lives Matter movement, and she's woken up to her own privilege she has due to the color of her skin. She talked about learning how to be a better ally, saying, quote, After taking some time to educate myself, what I've learned is that to be a good ally, you need to be willing to protect people at all costs. You have to step in if you see something happening that's not right. A racist act, a racist comment, a racist joke. And it's not just with Black Lives Matter. It's also with the Me Too movement. Finally, the world is waking up and it's beautiful to witness. She concluded her essay writing, Moving forward, I want to put my energy into my music and my advocacy work. I want to continue to strive to be a better person. I want to inspire people in many different ways to do the same. Above all, I want to leave the world a better place than when I got here. There are a lot of things that need to be done before that, but together I believe we can make it happen. You just need to be a little bit hopeful. Fans rushed to Twitter to share their love and support for Demi since she published this essay. One person wrote, I just read it. I'm so happy you have taken time during this pandemic to focus on your mental health. That is so important for everyone. Thank you for always speaking up and bringing attention to important topics like mental health and BLM. We love you. Another fan chimed in saying, thank you for writing this piece and choosing to share it with us, this year has sucked, but it's opened my eyes, as well as many others, to the injustices and the extent of them that have plagued this country for centuries. And this fan added, Thank you for writing this letter and always use your platform for good. You inspire me a lot and I felt everything as I read. Thanks for being as you are. I love you to the moon. We're overjoyed to see and hear Demi is so happy and fulfilled this year as she continues to use her platform to spread awareness about issues she cares about. And for more news on Demi, click right over here for another clever video. 
Then be sure to let me know all your thoughts on the letter Demi wrote in Vogue in the comment section below. I'm your host, Sizzle Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.